dove into the ocean just to see if I could swim. Take two. But there's something in the water stopping me from diving in. Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm James, and we're from Nova and the Experience. We're a Sydney band, and we're here hanging out with live sessions. So where it all began was James and I are actually brother and sister. Um, so we started writing music when we were younger, but the other members of the band who aren't actually here, Laurie and Jake, they're actually friends of ours. Laurie is James's long-term friend since forever, and Jake was actually in the year below me in school, so kind of a... Yeah, we all, all just sort of knew each other in Newcastle through creative people. And then uh, there was just, yeah, one day where we just were rolling down a hill together, we just fell on top of each other, and there were some instruments there, and it sounded like a song, so we started the band. <laughs> We grew up in a performing family. We all grew up doing acting and we sort of just did singing and stuff. And then I sort of, I accidentally picked up the guitar one day and could sort of just play it in my last two years of school. I never expected to be able to play guitar. There was, but there was a long time of us writing songs and me wanting to be able to do them on stage, but not really knowing how I could ask other people, like, could you come and like spend your time learning my songs so we could play them? Um, yeah, and, and it, it was something that was, it was a bit of a hobby at first and then after, you know, getting a bit more prolific with our writing and James as well, um, especially being brother and sister and living together, that was a benefit because we started to write more and more. And then it's only been the last two or three years that we've really started doing it full time. This year actually we, we quit our jobs at the beginning of this year, which was a bit daunting and we've been living off busking the entire year um, and, and touring the whole year. So that's been a big change for us from two years ago where we've all had our daily jobs that you know have helped us um, fund the band and we've been otherwise we've just been playing on the weekends so mm. this year's been good. Anna and I are absolutely obsessed with butter popcorn. We love it so much. Like I'm talking like could never ever go to the cinema without buying butter popcorn. We actually have never been to the cinema without getting popcorn. If people ask us do you want to go to the movies and we only have enough money for a movie ticket and not popcorn. Then we, we can't go get... because we have to have popcorn. Like we would sometimes, I would go to the cinema sometimes just get popcorn. Now I don't like any other sort of popcorn, not like you know, caramel bliss bombs or whatever they are or like the multicolored popcorn, no none of that. Coated. Just good old salty. Butter. I'm an old popcorn. fashioned kind of popcorn fellow. I like my buttered salty popcorn and then it's that way. <laughs> don't, isn't it right enough? That's right, that's right. And actually one of the funniest stories was that we were so greedy with our popcorn loving um, back in the day that We'd actually have, James and I, when we'd sit down and eat a bowl of popcorn, if, if one of us took a bigger handful than the other, we'd have to let, make the other person sit out. So be like, that handful's too big, you have to wait your turn now while I take my handful and eat it all. And like one piece at a time. This is when we were much younger though, like a week ago. We started playing under the name Nerve and Experience about five years ago, but then I was living in a different city and we didn't really do much for the first two years or so. Um, yeah, it was a bit difficult because James had a full-time job in Sydney and I was at uni and the guy, other guys had their own jobs and things like that as well. So James would rehearse all year, all day, drive to Newcastle to have a practice and then drive back and work the next day. So it wasn't the best idea um, to live in separate cities if we wanted to move forward as a band. So I would say I moved to Sydney three years ago now. So I'd probably say, even though we've been playing under the name of No Room Experience, from about three years ago is when we really started to knuckle down. And yeah, we took the risk and everyone moved cities and decided to put a lot more of our time into it and get jobs that suited the band and things. All those things that bands do. Yeah. Um, well... Uh, we went to a um, restaurant one day um, that had like all you can eat. And it was like a, uh, what's that country, Sudanese restaurant? It was like an African kind of um, a buffet kind of um, deal. And what they do is they have these... Your Novelty sized meals. Your plates are like your plates are like a savory pancake and they put these different scoops of meats and things and little veggies and stuff on the pancakes. And then, and then you, then you, you eat them, you like roll it up. Anyway, we went to this one place and, and the restaurant was called Nova. It was up near Byron Bay. And um, the, the meal The biggest meal that you could get was called the experience. And we went there like one or two times and it was just mind blowing. And we none of us could finish it, and it was just something that stuck in our heads. And so we just thought it'd be a random name. Yeah. And I think the experience as well, like when we play live as well, as we were saying before with Coldplay, we really uh, like to create an experience for um, the people that watch us and let them leave with not just a memory but an experience of watching us play. So it was kind of a bit fitting. We're going to America um, in September, October. We're doing. We're actually going to be touring for three weeks on a bus. Five weeks. 
for five weeks, but then we're going to CMG and other things. So it's it's actually you keep correcting me. Well, we're living this on guy. the bus the whole time. For five Siblings. Weeks. Um, so anyway, we're going to we're going on a bus. I'm the only girl on the bus um, amongst eleven other guys. So that's going to be quite interesting. Probably hate them all by the end of it, uh, but it's going to be pretty exciting. <laughs> we're playing um, we're playing at a uh, festival called Culture Collide in LA. Is it LA? San Francisco. San Fran. Sorry. And then CMJ in New York. And then we've got about 15 more shows of the tour that we're on at the moment for Whole Body in Australia. And then we'll be back in the country in around November and I don't know what we're doing. Yeah, we might just Yolo. hibernate for a little bit and yeah. write. This song's called Whole Body and uh, Anna forgot her shaker so she's put some stuff in the sunglasses case. She's going to use that. Hopefully it works. Yeah. After dark, and she went from a heart. Now, who you are doesn't mean you matter because she's on the journey to find the inner peace. It's funny how she left my heart in pieces. I don't want to bitch you mean this. Then I saw her start to shed her skin from the top of the village. She cut her up the hell of a million. Now she's doing it to him. It's funny because I thought we had a good arrangement. Mrs. The Tried to want me and she told me she was dangerous. It's kind of shit. And she stole my song. Still, I tell her what I want. I want you to nobody. And I took the cops and I looked in eye. Saw you lying under here, recognized by the ink on your skin. Yes, it's true, you think you got the deal with the person who you said you'd never do. So I spent 12 hours in my tent, throwing up with you. I found your favorite.